All right, hello there, everybody. This is Cholera, and welcome to game two of uh, Tsinghua University versus Beijing University. I am going to give the intro again because, of course, uh, I am recording now, and uh, this is the semifinals of the Cotter Cup 2009, um, Beijing versus uh, Tsinghua, uh, and, and right now we're actually doing set two first chronologically. Of course, in the videos, um, the, we are going to put them in the correct order, so you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but that's all right. We're going to be seeing a Zerg versus Zerg here. Here we have uh, the player Romalia um, calling himself PYX. So I guess we'll just call him Romalia playing for Beijing University. And his opponent is going to be Orion playing for Tsinghua University as the orange Zerg here on Neo Medusa 2 or Neo Medusa. Um, this is going to be an exciting matchup. Tsinghua University, of course, uh, really upset the Korean uh, school, the Korean Advanced Institute for Science and Technology beating them in the first round of the Cotter Cup. Meanwhile, Beijing University beat out Sweden's Royal Institute of Technology to advance to this round. And uh, let me remind you, the winner of this will go into the finals, where, uh, spoilers, but uh, they are going to face MIT, who won the entire American side, MIT beating out first um, Yale University and then beating out Princeton. And... Uh, Right now, we are going to be seeing a nine pool here from the Beijing University uh, player, and we're going to be seeing an over pool, it looks like, from Orion, the Tsinghua University player. So, Orion, I think, is going to pick up an early advantage from doing this. Um, over pool by any measure is better than nine pool if that's what the two bills are. Uh, Overpool does not lack in anything. Overpool will give you a drone or two more, and uh, it will certainly uh, allow you to pick up your second hatchery earlier should you decide to go for more lings. Uh, and it certainly won't hurt you if you go for mutas because if you see the gas is um, almost the same timing. The Overpool just yeah a couple of grids slower, but he is going to have at least one more drone, if not two more drones. I believe the number is actually one more drone, but uh, in a ZBZ, of course, that makes a gigantic difference. Orion, a very strong player for um, Tsinghua. I was told by Hazel just now that he is a C plus rank on I Cup, which certainly makes him a formidable foreign player. And uh, that is, of course, the orange player once again at the upper left. And here is his opponent. And let's see what he does with his first 100 gas. It's going to be for speed. Oh, wow. This is going to be interesting. Let's see if there's a deviation here. Um, what are we going to see the first 100 gas for the Chinese player? Orion. Orion is going to go for Lair. So here's a big deviation. Now, this gives Purple, the uh, Chinese, uh, sorry, the both Chinese, the Beijing player, um, Remelia, I guess, or PYX, it's going to give him an advantage with Lings, because he's going to have speed way before Orion does, um, and, and that could uh, that could make a difference here. That gives him a you know a big advantage. Other, on the other hand, he's not going to have Lair Tech uh, as early as Orion, and therefore Orion might have an advantage when Mutas come out first. We're just going to have to see here. Both players are going to rely on one hatchery, of course as a standard. So this is a pretty, um, you know, pretty good s series of openings here. And let's see how good these players are. We have seen, you know, mainly American games, for me at least. I haven't really watched any of the uh, foreign games yet. And sometimes, uh, to be absolutely honest, the play was uh, <laughs> rather amateur. Uh, of course, these people are amateurs. Um, so that is expected. But let's see if these two Chinese schools who have both tested themselves and acquitted themselves very well. Um, let's see if they manage to pull off something more spectacular. And here we're seeing, okay, two Lings running in here for Beijing. Beijing going to just scout out Tsinghua's base. Tsinghua not able to put up a, 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 um, a spire just yet. Now it's going down. We're going up. Uh, and these two Lings just continue to be annoying. Meanwhile, look at this. The lair is not even done yet for um, Beijing's Remelia. So Remelia really is not picking up an advantage right now. Uh, I really think Remelia could be in trouble here in this game. Because Tsinghua is now, I believe, done with his Ling speed. Yes, he is. So uh, Remelia has not picked up an advantage at all from getting that early Ling speed. And this could mean game for him very, very quickly here in set two. Um, it, it is probably going to be really bad for him. Because uh, notice right now, he is just going to pick up a Spire. He is way behind on timing. And uh, now he's been scouted, it seems. Uh, well, there was a scouting overlord, actually. So never mind. But uh, there was one Ling that got in. Meanwhile, two Lings chasing two Lings here for um, Orion, inside Orion's base. Meanwhile, Orion going to push forward with some Lings. But really, in absolute honesty, he doesn't uh, need to worry very much. He should just uh, make sure that he gets his Mutas out, doesn't lose any drones, and then uh, he should be able to just win the game 
from the merit of his uh, of having mutas um, just substantially earlier. And I don't know what Remelia can do. I mean, it doesn't seem like he's uh well, he has masked up a good number of links. Is he going to go for an expansion? I don't know. I think this just might be a rally point error here. Um, or maybe he's going to use it to attack, actually. I, I, it's, well, no, he's bringing it back. But, yeah, regardless, usually when you see these kind of builds, um, the, the player who's behind on Spire Attack really needs to go and, and try to do some damage with his lings. Because, as you see, there will be mutas in the airspace above his base. It's going to be a no-fly zone, and it's going to be a definite kill zone there on top of uh, Remelia's base. Meanwhile, big battle happening. It's over for Remelia, I gotta say. Qinghua is going to pick up this game because Remelia didn't do anything here with his attack. Didn't even get in. And really, build order advantage, build order advantage. I mean, uh, you know, obviously... Um, we're going to be seeing some mutas come out, but yeah, this this timing window is way, way too uh, late for um, Remelia to get back in this game. I mean, Remelia was no Jadong. Jadong may have been able to come back from that, but Remelia wasn't. He GG's. Orion picks up set two of the uh, Cotter Cup uh, semifinals here. Um, Qinghua versus Beijing, once again, both schools from Beijing, and both schools vying for at least $250 if they make it into the finals. Not too bad on the foreigner scene, the non-Korean scene, uh, in terms of, um, you know, StarCraft winnings. So, I am going to uh, stop the broadcast for a second, or stop the recording, rather, for a second, and uh, we'll be moving on now.